This can lead to account deletion under our repeat infringer policy. Yikes. I made Jurassic World fan art and tried selling it online for 18 days through a partner program that lets you license and legally sell your fan art. The print-on-demand company gets a cut, you get a cut, and the brand gets a cut of the profits. Here's what happened. I made fan art for the new Jurassic World movie on Monday evening. I scanned it on Tuesday, bigger than usual, 1200 dpi to make sure it fits as many products as possible. I read the instructions on Redbubble, which is where I tried selling the art and tried to follow them as best as I could. I added the legal line in curved text on the rim of the amber circle in black text with a white outer glow to make it stand out more. I added the necessary text for it to be reviewed for the fan art program. I uploaded the same artwork to TeePublic since it's owned by Redbubble and has the same brand partnerships. My Redbubble sales tend to be on the older designs anyway, so I figured I'd have a better chance of selling something faster on TeePublic. I got an email from TeePublic right away after uploading saying the design is under review but can be sold while it's in review. From Redbubble I got no notification initially, but a few hours later I got an email starting with the words. We recently received a complaint from someone alleging that the products you offered for sale on the Redbubble marketplace violate their rights. Sadly, this means we had to remove them from the marketplace. Please do not re-upload the same artwork without approval. This can lead to account deletion under our repeat infringement policy. Yikes. I think it was a misleading email since I wasn't infringing on anyone's copyright on purpose. I uploaded my art for the fan art program and it got declined. But instead of giving me a reason for why it was declined, they claimed I was infringing on Jurassic World's copyright. The part about not being able to re-upload the same art is pretty misleading too. Can I alter it and then re-upload? On Thursday, what I thought is I changed everything I could think of that was causing the problem and then upload it again. I would make the legal line bigger and place it outside of my artwork, not on the rim of the drawing. I would edit the artwork to change the colors to make it more transformative rather than just the Jurassic World logo hand-drawn in charcoal and soft pastel. And add some text in case those alterations weren't enough. I also searched for existing Jurassic World designs on Redbubble and made sure my design was somehow different from them, either in text or color scheme, since I guess my art style or materials I used were not different enough. I also removed the reference to the newest Jurassic World movie Dominion from the description because it wasn't yet on the list of movies you could make fan art about on the Redbubble instruction page. Another possible reason I thought of was that I turned some products into repeating patterns, maybe that made the legal line too small, so I decided not to do repeating patterns for the next upload. On Friday, I noticed the NBC Universal fan art terms and conditions say The submission and its description must reference NBC Universal as part of the upload process. So I added the legal line to the description too, just in case. Even though searching on Redbubble, not all Jurassic World designs have it in the description, many of them have it only on the image. I got no notice from Redbubble that day, so I was hopeful that making these changes fixed whatever they wanted me to fix to get accepted. 24 hours later. After submitting the new version with text and a different color scheme, I got another notice from Redbubble that the artwork was taken down due to copyright infringement. I think this debunks all the reasons I thought they could have rejected the first design. My next suspicion is that it was just because there are many versions of the Jurassic World logo uploaded already and it's just too similar. They don't really care that it's hand drawn or about the texts or colors you use. By this point I certainly haven't gotten a positive image of the Redbubble fan art program or NBC Universal. 
because the communication with artists is minimal at best and the brand guidelines are so vague that it seems they might reject your art for any reason really. But for the sake of this video, I tried again by drawing another dinosaur that appears in the movies but isn't included in fan art as much and again using one of their pre-approved texts. And this time, if they still don't approve it, I'll just upload a different version of it as a regular dinosaur art without any mention of Jurassic Park. I didn't use any images from Jurassic Park specifically as reference. I used the free stock photo sites Pexels.com and Pixabay for the post and mixed in color schemes from other photos online and a bit of children's book illustration style for the background. I did this so they're not going to have any basis for claiming the actual art is copyright infringement even if they don't accept it for the fan art program. The interesting thing when looking around on Redbubble is that you can find a lot of Jurassic World fan art, some of which have the legal line and some of which don't. So according to the brand guidelines, the ones without the legal line should be deleted but I'm guessing they mostly go through new submissions and not the older ones. From T Public, I've gotten no notice as of yet, but stay tuned till the end of the video to find out if I sold any of the fan art. On Wednesday, I edited the drawing. Since it's rectangular drawing with a full background, I cut it into a circle with the horns coming out so it looks better on a t-shirt. The guidelines accept editorial for these words, so I added meet Triceratops as the text. One hour later. So I got a different email from Redbubble this time. It's not a copyright violation takedown, but it's not an acceptance email either. The heading says, your work was not chosen to be part of the partner program. But inside it says that the rights holder decided it may remain for sale on the marketplace. That's bizarre but I'll take it. So, I think this means I will not get the Jurassic World Universal shelf underneath the product listing and will not appear on that shelf. So, basically, I don't get the same marketing that official Jurassic World fan art designs would. My question is, why was the rejection email different and why was this design allowed to stay on Redbubble while the T-Rex was deleted? I think based on the data I now have from uploading the first three designs is maybe they don't accept my art style or quality of my art or the materials I used. There are some more cartoony designs in the officially licensed Jurassic World designs, but I didn't find any traditional drawings or paintings. Maybe they only accept digital or vector art. And perhaps the difference between the T-Rex and Triceratops was that the T-Rex was clearly made referencing their logo, while the Triceratops does not reference the Jurassic World movies. I didn't draw it from a still image from the movies or from their posters. So they allowed me to use their editorial with an image that wasn't theirs. Still no response from the public either way at this point. Since the reception from Jurassic World was so negative, to say the least, I considered trying another brand, but I decided to wait it out a bit since the Jurassic World was going to be trending soon after I uploaded the art, because the newest Jurassic World movie was coming out in a few days. I didn't do any social media marketing for the designs apart from the two YouTube videos on drawing the dinosaurs on my ASMR channel. I was checking the traffic in Google Analytics for both Redbubble and TeePublic. Neither of them got much traffic on the dinosaur designs, but whenever I'd get a sale email from Redbubble or TeePublic, I'd rush to see if it was one of the dinosaur artworks. On the day the movie was released, it finally was. I sold on TeePublic one t-shirt of the first Jurassic World logo drawing I made. If you want to know different places and brands you can sell your fan art for, check out this video next. See you there!